What's up guys, it is Chaz Ryan, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we fought against the legendary Pokemon Lugia. For me, it was almost an hour long. But, like the rest of them, it fell and we captured it. Now, on this episode, we are going to be going after the final event Pokemon, wrapping up all of the events Pokemon Emerald has to offer. Let's walk through the doorway and arrive at our destination. As you can see, the Pokemon Mew is here. Welcome to Faraway Island. I'm going to save before I wander through this grass, just so I can be extra super duper careful. And uh, yeah, as we are chasing after the Pokemon Mew, I thought I would go over a little bit of this event, because some people might be a bit confused as to how I am able to do this. Oh, wow, we found it rather easily, actually. Alright, so the event of Faraway Island requires you to have the old seamup item to get here. Also, Mew is level 30. Uh, this event is for just Emerald. This is not an event for Ruby, and, uh, Ruby Sapphire, Fire Red, or Leaf Green. This is only available if you have Emerald, so it's quite interesting. Also, wow, I got the Paralyzed really easy. This shouldn't actually be too bad. Oh, right, it has Synchronize. I totally forgot about that. Whoops. Oh, well, that'd be fine. But yeah. Um, so, right, like I was saying, to get to Faraway Island, you need the old C-Map. However, the old C-Map was only ever distributed in Japan at the Poke Fest uh, Poke Festa on the 18th of July and tw uh, to the 21st of August. So, unless you lived in Japan during that period of time and got this event then, you won't be able to travel to Faraway Island and go through this event. It's pretty, it kind of sucks, but, um, yeah, it is also kind of interesting that this was a Japan exclusive event, so anyone kind of outside Japan, sorry, you, there's no real way for you to be able to participate in this event, and I mean, there's really no way for po someone in Japan to take place and uh, take part in this event at this point, because it's so old now, so, yeah, it is, it is actually quite interesting that this event was uh, so, you know, hard, well not hard to do, but so, you know, exclusive for Japan, I guess. But, through the wonderful world of Game Sharks, I am able to bring you this event, and didn't even let me get through the entire description of the event, Mew. Come on! Alright, <laughs> okay. Mew, the new species Pokemon, 151. A Mew is said to possess the genes of all Pokemon. It is capable of making itself invisible at will. So, it entirely avoids notice, even if it approaches people. Give a nickname to Mew? Nope. And it's back in Box 14 with the rest of the legendaries. Alrighty then, so, uh, anyway, I guess I'll, uh, stand out the grass and talk a little bit more. Um, I didn't even get to go over Mew's moves. Mew had Pound, Transform, Mega Punch, and Metronome. We only got to see it use two of those moves, because it transformed into my Flygon. Um... But yeah, it's it's very interesting that this event was only released for Japan. I'm not sure if there were ever any plans to bring it to the West, uh, to do it for something like America or something, but yeah. The only way you could ever obtain this is through Pokefesta in 2005 in Pokemon Emerald. Um, I'm not sure if a similar event uh, exists in Fire and Leaf Green. I don't think it does. I could be wrong. I very possibly could be wrong. I probably am. But, um... Yeah, that was Mew, the origin of all Pokemon, and it took three minutes to capture it. Well, I guess we're going around and doing a couple of other extra things, though, then, before we end this episode off, because I'm not going to just give you guys a three-minute video. That would be unfair. Also, I think we should probably... We'll walk out of uh, Far Away Island so you can see all of it, what it looks like. It is quite a uh, winding sort of labyrinth area. Uh, that is the annoying thing about the... Uh, the game shark codes. It doesn't put me uh, at the sort of dock where I'd get off. It um it puts me in the actual room where the legendary would spawn, except for Naval Rock, which is which I'm I'm a fan of that. But uh yeah, Captain Briny can be minimally fickle. Do you want to return to Lily Curve? All right then, sail home we will. And with that, that is the final event Pokemon for Pokemon Emerald. Oh well, I should say the final Pokemon event for Pokemon Emerald because. There are two Pokémon that we never covered through events, and I believe are only obtainable through uh, downloads. 
So you can only get the Pokemon as a download. You can't, uh, there's nowhere in the game to find them. And these two Pokemon are, and I'll put them up on screen so you guys can see what they look like, are the Pokemon Jirachi and Celebi. Jirachi was brand new in Generation 3, and Celebi, for all of you Gen 2 players, would know as the uh, tree spirit sort of Pokemon from Generation uh, 4. No, genera Generation... What am I saying? Generation uh, 2. I'm literally losing my mind. That battle against Lugia has taken its toll on me. Also, why are these Pokemon sitting here? Oh, wait, I remember why. Right, oh, never mind. Um... Let's put them in order. Oh, I, it's not really in order, but... Oh, well. And Mew. And Mew. There we go. So, if we look at it, of all the legendary Pokemon you can get in Pokemon Emerald, or, well, um, with a reasonable... I don't even want to say with a reasonable effort. Well, yeah, the ones with reasonable really effort. Regirock, Regice, Registeel, Rayquaza, Groudon, and Kyogre. And then Latios. And then, through the use of events, we had Deoxys, Lugia, Ho-Oh, and finally, Mew. But, so, I guess, yeah, we'll we'll go around uh, the Hoenn region now. We'll uh, show off a couple of areas I have yet to show and uh, do a couple of interesting things. But apart from that, we're pretty much done with Pokemon Emerald now. Like, there's not a lot left for us to do. I'm certainly not going to try and complete my Pokedex because it's just not physically possible. But, um, there are some things I could show. There are a couple of things I can do and show off for you guys before we end the series for good, which we're not ending the series in this episode. We are going to wait for the next episode. I, I, now knowing that it can end, now that, now knowing that it can end on part 20, uh, part 20, part 10, bonus episode part 10. Wow, I am really, my brain is really fried. Um, I would like to end it on bonus episode 10. I think that would be a cool episode to end it on. So, firstly, let's fly, uh, I believe, to Oldale Town, because I think, north of Oldale Town, there is now something we can investigate. I believe. I don't know why I, didn't nev I never showed this off earlier, um, partially because I wasn't sure if it would be here or not, but I think it will be. Maybe it's not. Okay. I could have sworn the uh, Union Cave, or whatever it's called, is around here somewhere. Or maybe, do you have to surf for it? Uh, I am not sure. I am... Okay, well, it's not up here, so unless we can surf to find it, I am actually not sure where this Union Cave is supposed to be. Uh, oh, I should have put a rappel up. Why did I not do that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's look this up. Union Cave. Is it somewhere? Union Cave. It's located in the Johto region. Uh, uh, maybe I'm thinking of a different cave then? No, wait. No, here it is. Is this what I'm thinking of? Altering Cave. Never mind. I'm just an idiot. Which I believe actually at this point in time is only going to contain Zubats, I think. I think only Zubats are found in Altering Cave. Let's let's check. What is this encounter going to be? Yep, Zubat. Altering Cave. Let's search that. There we go. This looks more like it. Yes, so Altering Cave is actually a location in both Fire Red and Leaf Green and Emerald. Only Zubat can be found in it to begin with, but it would have been possible for the Altering Cave's wild Pokemon to be altered by using Mystery Gift and Wonder Spots hosted by Nintendo. Uh, hence, the name, obviously. Uh, it was intended to contain the Pokemon Mareep, Apom, Pineco, Shuckle, Tediosa, Houndour, Stantler, and Smeargle. Uh, there's even unused event text that would have appeared um, for using uh, the events to change the Aldrin Cave. This text would read, Thank you for using the Mystery Gift system. There appears to be a rumor about a rare Pokemon sightings. The sighting reportedly came from the Altering Cave on Route 103. Perhaps it would be worthwhile for you to investigate this rumor. Unfortunately, from all the information I have looked up, this event never really came to pass. Um, all of the unreleased Pokemon uh, that you would have found in Altering Cave can be found in the extended Safari Zone anyway, with the exception of Smeargle, but we all know where we can find Smeargle anyway. 
it is found in Artisan Cave in the Battle Frontier. Uh, they are also all available in Pokemon Colosseum and XD as Shadow Pokemon, so this place really doesn't serve a great purpose anymore, and I'm not actually sure. Oh, well, I guess I understand why it's in the game, due to the fact that um, it, it did have an intended purpose, but much like the Azure Flute in Pokemon Generation 4 and the Arceus event that followed that, it really doesn't have any use at this point. Uh, what else can we do? What else have we yet to show off? Um, there are some things I think that I'm just going to not do in the Let's Play. Like there will, there are going to be some things that I just flat out don't show off. Uh, Pokemon events is one of them. Um, I I did intend it. I did intend at some point to do a, to do Pokemon events, but uh, actually, you know what? It's the it's the penultimate episode. It's I'm pretty sure like one of the only things I never showed off in great detail. So you know what? In the penultimate episode, let's go do a Pokemon event. And what better Pokemon to do the event with than Izzy? No, actually, that's probably a bad idea because it loafs around. Uh, let's do it with Mizuguru, I think. Mizuguru would be a cool choice to do it with. So, oh wait, I don't have a Pokeball case though. Oh, uh, would you like to change? Yeah, which rank would you like to... Okay. Um, oh, right. I have to choose based on the category. Okay. Let's check the moves real quick, and we'll uh, figure out what I'm doing. Beauty and tough. Cool. Uh, smart. Smart. Actually, what's this do? Shifts the judge's attention from others. Startles the Pokemon that has the judge's attention. It appeal, uh, The appeal works great if performed first. All right. Well, maybe we'll use Shift Tree, then, in a, smart, uh, in a smartness competition. Actually, that might be better. So, would you like to enter your Pokemon? Yep. Which rank? We'll do normal rank. We won't do anything fancy yet. Smartness contest. Which Pokemon would we like to enter? We will enter our shift tree. Let's go get him, girl. <coughs> okay. Got to choke on my own breath. Okay. Your Pokemon will be entered in this contest. Number four. The contest will begin shortly. Um, please come through here. Good luck. Now, this was a mechanic that was brought back in Generation 4, but after that, in Generation 5 and 6, it was... Kind of left out, it came back in Generation 6 in the remakes of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but as of Gen 7, I believe it has disappeared again. Hello! We are just getting started with a normal rank Pokemon Smartness Contest. The participating trainers and their Pokemon are as follows. We have... Entry number 1... Oh, yeah. Bose... Butterbrew... Butterbee. Butterbee. Right. Sydney's Wurz. Number three, Raymond's Ninda. Ninda. That uh, that sounds oddly like Spinda to me. And finally, number four, Jack Swiftly. We've just seen the four Pokemon contestants. Now it's time for the primary judging. The audience will vote on their favorite Pokemon contestants. Without any further ado, let the voting begin. It's underway. Ooh, who are they going to pick? Are they going to pick me? Voting is now complete. While the votes are being tallied, let's move on to the secondary judging. The secondary staging stage of judging is the main, much anticipated appeal time. May the contestants amaze us with superb appeals of dazzling moves. Let's see a little enthusiasm. Let's appeal. Let's appeal. Oh, and we're lost. Okay. Well, we want we definitely want something that's smart. And since we're um, going last, perhaps it would be better if we used Shadow Ball. Under appealed with Mind Reader. It attracted the crowd's attention. The judge looked at Nint Ninda expectantly. Went over great. Ah, oh, there we go. Worse. Whereas appealed with Screech. It tried to startle the other Pokemon. Nintendo couldn't help uttering a cry. Ooh, the crowd continued to watch Nincada. Whereas speech is ignored. Aww. Better be appeared with Whirlwind. It scrambled up the order for the next turn. And the crowd continued to watch Ninda. But his whirlwind is ignored. Appealed with Shadow Ball. It tried to dazzle the others. They just looked away from Ninda. The crowd continued to watch Ninda. So Swiftly's Shadow Ball is ignored. Oh, wow. Okay. But, as you can see, Swiftly caught a little attention. So now, what's the order? Okay, so we went up one. Uh, now you don't. Now, even though that move went pretty well, you never want to repeat it. Be 
because if you repeat it, you aren't going to get as much appeal as you could have, and I think you're actually docked one point. So uh, let's try Giga Drain. So does the Pokemon that has the judge's attention. Which I think might actually still mean Inda. Appears with Uproar. It's Grammar of the Order for the next turn. Wow, there seems to be a lot of that. Ninda. It feels with Leech Life. It tries to start with the other Pokemon. Almost couldn't help uttering a cry. Wow. Smartest went over great. There we go. Swiftly appealed with Giga Drain. It tried to start with the other Pokemon. Was looked down out of distraction. Look down at a distraction. There we go. So, went over great. There we go. So now you see that little black heart next to words. That means that it is jammed. It is in the negative. And scrambled up the order for the next. Oh my god, really? Stop scrambling up the order. Man, this went over great. So I think at the moment, Futterby, that's so weird to say, Futterby is uh, in top position. But you can see that words went back down. Now. The appeal works great if performed first, and we're going first, and it's smartness, so we're going to get quite a large boost from this, I should think. Fate attack. The standout swiftly hustled even more. Whoa, swiftly smartness got the crowd going. Oh my god. <laughs> yep, that's going to do quite well, I think. Uh, appeal with Astonish. Try to start with the other Pokemon. So if they can help with Arter and Crow. Oh, swiftly. That's fine. I mean, we're still at what, like, what is that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that is 9 hearts, that is 9 hearts, scramble up the order for that, Butterfree, is there anything else you like to do other than scrambling up the order for the next turn, it seems like that's your shtick, finally, Ninda, interfere with Fury Swipes, try to start with the other Pokemon, so if we look down at a distraction, Ah, uh, well we only lost one, that's okay, and look down at distraction. We still got seven hearts. Like, that's still really good. As you can see, it goes, yeah, command the total attention. And we're going again. Um, let's use Shadow Ball. Let's just go with Shadow Ball. Pilled with Shadow Ball. Trying to dazzle the others. But it messed up. But that's okay. Smartness went over great. So we still get four hearts from that, which isn't bad. It just means that we don't jam the other Pokemon like we did last time. Pill with Silver Wind. This is Rose above usual. Ooh. And it gained a start. Beauty didn't go over well here. Yes, using a move that is not uh, in line with um, yeah, the contest you're in will lower the crowd's reaction. The judge looked at things expectantly. The smartest went over great. But it's okay, because we got we got the applause back, guys. So, if Wurz can keep... Can... Okay. Try to start the one. Can help letting... Can help uttering a cry. That's fine. Uttering a cry. Oh, Fodderby got really messed up then. If I continue to watch Ninda, where Screech is ignored. Oh, okay, this could be problematic. So hopefully it didn't stand out very much. Oh, Can I go second? Number five. I mean, I guess we better do Faint Attack, because um, it's going to give us the highest rating. Even though it's not going to, um, we're not going to get the, uh, like, the reaction went over great. Oh, well, it did go over great, but we're not going to get the crowd going. That is going to go to probably Futterby, I would assume. Up here with Supersonic, so it's going to, uh, that's going to scramble up, isn't it? Oh, no, it got the crowd going. So, as we can see, Butterfree got really, really good perception from that. Try to use Leech Life. Uh, that's going to startle us, I think. Oh, no, sorry, the title of Pokemon before. Futterby couldn't help uttering a cry. Ooh, that's not good. So now Futterby and I are on the level footing. Now, Wurz. Appealed with Hyper Voice. I don't think we've seen a Pokemon use Hyper Voice before. Uh, don't let out a cry. Ah, oh, Swiftly. Futterby couldn't help uttering out a cry. Ninda couldn't help uttering out a cry. Wow. Coolness didn't go over well here. No, it would not. Caught a little attention. We can see that our bar is still the highest. We're all out of appeal time. And that's it for judging. Thank you all for a most wonderful display of quality appeals. This concludes all judging. Thank you for your fine efforts. Now all that remains is the 
is the pulse pounding proclamation of the winner. The judge looks ready to make the announcement. We will now declare the winner! Alright, announcing the results. The pre preliminary results. Wow, Swiftly got majorly shafted. Round two results. Ooh, is Swiftly gonna take it? It looks like he is. Four, three, two, one. Jack Swiftly won. Oh yeah, we did it. Oh yeah, we did it. <laughs> Graceful in victory as always. Entry number four, Jack and Swiftly, congratulations. Here you are, please accept your prize. We confer on you this ribbon as your prize. Jack received a ribbon. Jack put the ribbon on swiftly, and we did so with pride. Although I don't know how... Although, although. Although I'm not sure how we'd manage that, because swiftly's pretty much made of entirely of wood, but that's fine. But as we can see, oh, I guess we could put it on like the um, scarfy looking thing. Probably doesn't look too ridiculous with it on her. But unfortunately, we can't see the ribbons, but we can see that the ribbon count is now two. Uh, each of these Pokemon have one ribbon each for uh, passing the Elite Four, but now Swiftly has another one for competing in this event, or in the event in the uh, contest. But, oh, hold on. What's this guy got to say? Oh, hello. You were in a Pokemon contest, weren't you? It's easy to tell from your Pokemon. I'm a reporter. I'm working on a story on Pokemon contests. If I may, would you be willing to answer a few questions? Ah, sure. Briefly, how would you describe the contest you just entered? Uh... S. Do we have it? Do we have the word I'm looking for? How would I describe it? I would describe it as... Come on, let's get down there. L -M 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 -M. I would describe it as smart! Because <laughs> it was a smartness contest. Ah, I see, that's a very defined comment. You get a good feel for what the contest was like. I've got one last question. When you hear the word smart, what image do you get? Well, obviously, it's got to be... My... Oh, wait, yeah, no, it's S. When I hear the word smart, I immediately think of... Da -da 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 -da. Sh shop it! No, not shop it! Oh, and I have to go from the beginning again. Damn it, damn it. Hold on, what if I hit select? Oh, wait, yeah, select is a lot easier to go down with. Um, where? There it is, shift tree. I think of shift tree. I see. So that's how you imagine the concept of smart to be. Thank you. You've given me some good ideas. I think I can write a good story on Pokemon Contest now. Maybe just maybe, this story will even make it to television. I hope you'll look forward to it. Well, I hope so. We probably won't be around to see it, but it is still cool that it could be getting on TV. But anyway, that is going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. I hope you guys enjoyed. We finally finished up all the events that Pokemon Emerald has to offer. We finally showed off Pokemon contests. And in the next episode, we are finishing up everything there is to do in the Pokemon Emerald post-game. Be sure to like if you enjoyed this video, comment down below, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. That way you can be notified when new episodes come out and when the finale of this series comes out. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.